This is Jackson.TV with Landon Venata. Uh, Landon, you're an amateur, but you're going to be making your pro debut down at Muscular on May 12th, and we're going to kind of follow you and uh, see how you do making your pro debut. Um, for the people out there who don't know you, um, we're going to get some background information on you. Uh, first of all, um, where are you from, and um, how long have you been training here at Jackson's? Originally, I'm from New Jersey, Townsville, New Jersey. I uh, moved down to Florida when I was 10. Lived there, went throughout high school. After high school, I spent a semester at University of Tennessee Chattanooga wrestling there. Dropped out, and I moved out here, and I've been out here since last January. And and have you been a MMA fan? You know, since you've been small. Yeah, when I was 10 years old, when I first moved to Florida, my aunt bought me a bunch of UFC videos. And I used to just sit around the house, and that's all I did. I just watched them over and over and over again. And how was your wrestling experience, you know, through high school and through uh, through your one year at, at the university? Uh, in high school, I you know, started off the first year, as anybody would. I had a couple of losses, but I kept getting better really, really fast. By the end of the year, I was 24 and 16 on varsity. Uh, second year, I managed to make it to states. I lost my match to place. And then my senior year, uh, I was one of the top two guys in the states, ranked top two, but I ended up taking fifth my senior year. And then uh, as I went to college, it was difficult, definitely. The practices were fun, but it's a whole other level once you get to college. It's the technique, the intensity, it's, it's completely different. It was hard. And, and all through your wrestling, were you keeping an eye on MMA with the thought of, of going into MMA? Yeah, absolutely. That's the only reason I got into wrestling. Uh, I got into wrestling so I could have that background. I wanted to wrestle all four years in college and then come here. Decided to do it a little differently though. And how did you identify Jackson's as the place that you wanted to be? Uh, originally, I was 16, and my brother brought the idea to me. And I came out here for a summer when I was 16 for one month and uh, trained with the pros and stuff. And I just knew it was where I was going to be sooner or later. And you mentioned you, you, know, you did come out here when you were 16. What was that experience like? <laughs> it was crazy. It was the first time being away from home by myself. You know, just out here with a bunch of pro fighters living upstairs in the dorms. It was a little weird, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot that summer. And did that motivate you even more to want to come back? Absolutely. Absolutely. Every single, every single day I was thinking about it, man. Always watching the fighters and everything. And when you eventually made you know, the, the permanent move, had to move here uh, to Albuquerque, New Mexico, what has it been like training here full-time at the gym? It, it doesn't... Um, it's a whole different experience. I mean, for me, it's, it's what I love. It's all I do. I just... Come to practice in the morning, I go home and eat, come to practice in the afternoon, go home and play a couple of video games, go to sleep, wake up, do it all again the next day. I love this. love being here. Best camp in the world. And how has your striking um, uh, come along since uh, coming out here? It's improved a lot. When I came out here, I didn't even know where to hold my hands. And working with uh, Brandon Gibson, Mike Valley, and Mike Winklejohn has taken my game to a whole new level. I feel like I'm really starting to turn a corner with my striking. And what is it like, you know, transitioning from, you know, a wrestling base to full-blown MMA with striking as well as submissions? Um, I feel like it helps, actually, the wrestling. I feel like the wrestling has the most effect because when I first came here, a lot of people when I first get here, they get beat up a lot in the sparring class. They always had that wrestling to rely on. So if I was getting hurt, I could take them down. So I think being a wrestler, coming from that wrestling background, the toughness and the work ethic really helps the transition to MMA. And how's your? Uh, how many fights have you had as an amateur now? Uh, I've had two, two and zero. Mm -hmm. And what were the results of those two fights? Uh, the first one, I fought with 170 and uh, I won by unanimous decision, 30-27. And the second one, was at 155, and I won that fight by a rear naked choke, uh, minute in. And you're feeling pretty strong at 155. Oh yeah, 
Absolutely. I feel like I'm the strongest 155 right here. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, um, what made you, or I guess, you know, talking with, uh, with the coaches, made, make you, made you uh, decide to turn pro now? Um, just my performance in the gym, being able to, to hang with the pro guys and do really well with everybody in here. So, you know, and once you get to the certain level in the amateurs, you're fighting guys who are on a pro level anyway. Mm -hmm. And what is it like, I mean, um, to actually, you know, think about, hey, you're going to, you know, this is really going to count. Not that the amateurs don't count, but this is your pro debut. This is going to go on your record, and it's the beginning of a professional fight career. What, what does this upcoming fight mean to you? Um, I guess a lot of people would feel pressured by it, but I just feel, I feel more excitement than anything else. I've been waiting for this since I was, since the first time I watched UFC. I've been waiting to get in there as a pro and be fighting, so I'm just really excited. Train, making me train really hard though. And do you think, you know, working out here in the gym, do you think um, you're totally prepared for this pro debut to, concerning the type of workouts that you guys have? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we suffer every day in the gym. We sweat a lot in the gym so we don't bleed during war. Everything here prepares us for it. And what is it like with your teammates here? Because you have everyone, you know, from you like, a, you know, an amateur going pro to the UFC guys. Can you kind of describe what the team is actually like being on the floor with all those guys and training with them? Can I explain that? It's hard to explain it, but um, being there with the best guys gives you a whole new self-confidence in yourself. Training with them, really, really, you really feel confident leaving practice if you do good. Okay, this fight is going to be at the Muscular Warrior Challenge, um, and you're going to be fighting uh, a kid named Apodaca. Um, have you seen any tape of him at all? No, I haven't seen anything. I was looking for a little bit of tape on him, and I came across somebody named Apodaca, and I was watching it, and I'm like, man, this guy looks ridiculously huge. He's a big 155-er. <laughs> it turned out it was his brother's uh, middleweight. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> And have you, did you, were you, have you been able to talk to anybody who has actually fought this guy or not, Joe? No, I, I know nothing about him. Okay. Nothing. All right. Well, what we're going to do is follow you. We're going to post a couple more videos leading up to the fight and then hopefully get some video down there at Mescalero and then talk to you after your pro debut. Um, thank you for letting us follow you because this is a big uh, uh, change for you going pro and really appreciate you letting us do this. Absolutely. It's fun. Okay. <laughs> and do you have what, one last thing? Do you have anybody else you'd like to thank? Oh, just my family back home, man. And my high school wrestling coach, Roshan. Without them, I wouldn't be here at all. Okay. Thank you, Landon. And we'll be talking to you soon uh, and posting some more videos. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.